Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows Error 1068 you're coming across on your computer. So this generally will interfere with the background intelligence transfer service and it's usually intertwined. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve it without too much of a hassle here. So we're going to go and start by opening up the start menu, type in services. Best match to go back with servers is here. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to scroll down until you find the Windows Firewall service. Or Windows Defender Firewall if you're on Windows 10. And you want to go ahead and double click on that. Make sure startup type is automatic and it's running. If it's currently stopped, you want to click the start button and then select startup type automatic and then select apply and OK to save the change. Hopefully I would have been able to resolve the problem if you did that. Another thing you try if you close out of there, open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now into this elevate command line window, you want to type in ipconfig, so ipconfig, space, forward slash, flush, DNS, exactly as it appears on the screen. So again, ipconfig, space, forward slash, flush, DNS. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Again, hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem as well. Another thing you can try would be to open up the star menu, type in msconfig. Best match to come back with system configuration. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. You want to select normal startup underneath startup selection. So load all device drives and services and then left click on apply and OK to save a change. So again, normal startup. That's important there. That actually should be very helpful to a lot of you guys right there. That last solution I showed. So again, hopefully I would have been able to resolve the problem. Another thing you can try on top of all of this would be to actually run a system restore. So you open up the start menu, type in system restore here. Best match, create a restore point or recovery. You can select whatever one you want, it doesn't really matter. So hopefully if your local disk says protection is on, you're good to go. Otherwise if it says off, you obviously can't do this method. But let's say I had a system restore point already saved on this computer. And let me just go ahead and create one here. So just to give you guys an example of what I'm discussing here. So like if you opened up System Restore, just gonna kind of walk through, going through the Start menu. We're just creating a Restore point at the moment here just so I can demonstrate what it'll look like if we're gonna go ahead and do that System Restore method, which I believe would be the fourth method that I am covering in today's tutorial. Okay, so click on close. So if protection's on, you want to select the system restore button here where it says you can undo system changes by reverting your computer to a previous restore point. So by selecting system restore, I'm going to go ahead and fix problems that might be making your computer run slowly or stop responding. System restore does not affect any of your documents, pictures, or other personal data. Recently installed programs and drivers might be uninstalled. Go ahead and select next. You see we have a restore point saved on our computer that I just created. I'm going to select next. Hopefully your restore point goes back to more than two minutes ago when I just created mine. If you just created yours, this is not going to actually fix the problem obviously, but assuming the restore point was created a few days ago, a week, a month ago, you should be alright. Go ahead and select finish and then you will have to restart the computer in order to commence and initiate the system restore process. So you just would go ahead and select yes at that point. So pretty straightforward process here guys. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.